At Canada's busiest airport, the summer of 2022 is one travelers will long remember but may wish to forget. It was a hectic time. <laughs> it was a hectic time. Toronto Pearson was recently ranked worst in the world for flight delays among the top 100 airports globally. Add in luggage that doesn't arrive for days and long lineups leaving Canada and coming home. Certainly was a challenging start to the summer for travelers and we certainly you know, uh, wish that wasn't the case and have worked very hard with our partners to make that better. Now the airport promises more efficiency. It's just installed e-gates like these at Terminal 1 for arriving international passengers. More machines is more self-service processing. A dozen have gone in, allowing passengers to show travel documents, get photographed and move more quickly. They'll still need to speak to a border agent if only briefly. We're seeing processes of about 40 seconds on an e-gate, particularly with someone who's done an advanced declaration. I think these e-gates should make a significant difference in delays at the airports and only speed things up. What took so long, travelers say? They need to be more proactive and they should have done their homework. Past couple of months, it's been horrible. <laughs> Something needs to change, definitely. The gates will be added to Terminal 3 in the next year and other Canadian airports at some point. As for having enough border agents, something that had been an issue earlier, the CBSA says it's got enough staff now. We're staffing based on the arrivals that we're expecting. We are hopefully past the nightmare days of the three to five hour waits to get off planes and through the terminal. The e-gates may provide some relief and the airport claims that lineups for outbound security have also diminished. But authorities warn people should still arrive early and be patient. Sean O'Shea, Global News, Toronto.